Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm creating another look using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. And like always, I prime my eyelids using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And the shade I'm going in with first is called Unity, and I'm going to blend this all over my crease. This is just going to count like as a base for my crease, which will make it more easy to blend all the other shades later on. And in case you're wondering what the white things are underneath my eyes, these are my Anytude eyeshadow guards. You can get them at anytude.com. Now for my next shade, I'm going in with the shade Lure. Lure, I'm not really sure how to pronounce this. But it's like a pinky mauve shade and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. Using a Anastasia Beverly Hills blending brush. And I'm just going back and forth and just blending this all over the place. I think I went around three times back with my brush in the product to get like the pigmentation I wanted to have in my crease. So yeah, I think around two or three times. Now I'm going in with the shade Parallel and I'm going to blend this in my crease as well. But this is quite a dark shade so I didn't apply like a lot of product at the beginning. First I just applied a tiny amount, I'm going to blend this in my crease and then I'm going to build it up by going back in with more and more product. And um, I know I'm going to apply dark shades on my eyelid so I'm not really worried about like what is on my eyelid right now. But at the end of the video or during the video, you will see why. Now I'm going back in with the Lure eyeshadow and I'm just going to blend this one more time around my crease area to make sure that everything is well blended out and that there are no harsh lines. So now it's time for some eyeliner and I'm using my favorite Sigma Wicca Gel Eyeliner and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. So this is the reason why I wasn't really worried about the eyeshadow that was like below my crease. Because I'm going with this black eyeliner all over the lid and this will cover everything. And this will count as my base for my black eyeshadow. Um, to make it like extra smoky. I know this might look a little bit scary to like apply eyeliner all over the eyelid But it's just a really easy way to create a super dark smoky eye I will recommend if you apply this that you don't apply too much product around the edges So that's why I'm now going like softly up higher with my brush to kind of make it more faded and This is just easier if you want like a nice blended out effect so now I'm going in with the shade Obsidian and I'm going to apply this around the edges. I'm not going like all the way on top of the eyeliner with the black eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply it around the edges and blending this all over in my crease. And the brush that I'm using is a Morphe M506. It's like a super tiny blending brush and it's just perfect for if you want to blend something. Uh, more precisely but because a lot of blending brushes are really big and this one is really small so that's nice if you want to be a bit more precise so as you can see it's already starting to look nice but I'm not really satisfied yet so I'm going in with the shade parallel and I'm going to blend this around the edges as well because I want this blended perfectly so I always go back a few times with like the dark shades and the lighter shade just to make sure that it looks as well blended out. I think that's really the key to a perfect smoky eye. You need to have patience and just blend and blend. So now I took like a bigger brush and I'm going to blend around the edges. So now that I'm finally done with blending my crease, I'm going in with the shade Throne, which I feel like makes the whole eye look complete. I'm going to apply this straight on top of where I applied the gel eyeliner. And because I didn't apply anything yet on top of the eyeliner, the Throne eyeshadow is kind of sticking into the gel eyeliner, which makes it like super long lasting. So I removed the eyeshadow guard and now I'm going to apply my eyeliner. I'm using that same Sigma Wicca gel eyeliner, which I also used as a base for my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to create a line above my lash line and create a cat wing. Thank you. 
So now for in my waterline, I'm going to use the John to Blue black eye pencil, my current favorite. I'm just going to coat my lower lash line and also my upper lash line because sometimes you can still see some skin and I want this to be extra black, extra smoky. So I'm going to apply this on my lower lash line and on my upper lashes. And for me, it helps to close my eyes and I'm just rubbing that pencil all over. So now I'm going in with the obsidian eyeshadow again and I'm going to softly press this right underneath my lower lash line and I'm trying to connect it with the pencil in my waterline. So I'm softly also applying it on the waterline as well. But I do have to say if you wear contacts be careful because it might get in your eyes and I think that will be like super irritating. So be careful. So now for my next shade I'm going in with the Throne eyeshadow again and I'm going to softly blend this right underneath the black eyeshadow. And for this I used the pencil brush by Dose of Colors but this wasn't like the perfect brush because it did give me a bit fallout. And now to finish off the whole eye look I'm going in with this lime yellow shade and I'm going to apply this right underneath the lower lash line as well. I just felt like something was missing and I feel like this makes it complete. Now for my fake eyelashes, I use my Anytude Wary Lashes. I will link them down in the description bar together with a discount code. And yeah, then this is the end result. I really hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That would be so sweet. I think personally this is my favorite smoky eye I've ever created. Just because that green shade gives it like a different twist, which I really like. But yeah, let me know if you want me to create more smoky eyes. I could use like different type of shades. Um, I think that would be nice because the holidays are coming and I think a smoky eye never really bores. So yeah, let me know in the comments and of course if you have any questions leave them down below as well. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!